the question is prepare an accounting equation from the following draw the format of an accounting equation of a dash dash serial number transactions assets is equal to capital plus liabilities after reading the question properly we will be getting the assets like cash stock and the liabilities like capital creditors plus outstanding rent there will be rupee symbol for all of them first one will be started business started business with cash rupees 50000 and goods 30000 the total capital is 80000 started business with cash 50000 stock 30000 total capital is 80000 second one is purchased goods for cash 30000 and credit 20000 purchased goods cash 30000 Thirty thousand will be deducted from cash, and fifty thousand will be added to stock, and hence there will be increase in twenty thousand in creditors, because we are buying on credit. That means our creditors are increasing. From whom we purchase goods on credit, they are our creditors. Hence, creditor is increased by twenty thousand, stock is increased by fifty thousand. Cash went down by thirty thousand. New equation will be there. Then third one is goods costing sixty to forty thousand was sold for fifty five thousand. Costing forty. Goods sold for cash. It will be deducted from cash rupees forty thousand. It will be deducted from stock costing forty. It will be deducted from stock by forty thousand. Increased or added to cash by fifty five thousand and profit is fifteen thousand. Profit increases our capital by fifteen thousand plus fifteen thousand. The new equation will be cash rupees seventy five thousand, stock rupees forty thousand, capital rupees ninety five thousand, and creditors twenty thousand. Then the fourth transaction will be. Withdraw cash for personal use. It will be deducted from cash and deducted from capital. In single word, you can say this is drawings. It will be deducted from cash by ten thousand, deducted from capital by ten thousand. The new equation will be cash rupees sixty five thousand, stock rupees forty thousand. This is one lakh five thousand. Capital and creditors rupees eighty five thousand and twenty thousand is also one lakh five thousand. LHS is equal to RHS. Then fifth item, rent outstanding two thousand. Outstanding rent is an expenditure as well as liability. Rent outstanding, no impact on cash or asset side. It will be reduced by it will reduce capital by two thousand and increase outstanding expenses or outstanding rent by two thousand because our liability increased and we did the expenditure. Our new equation is cash rupees sixty five thousand, stock rupees forty thousand, capital rupees eighty three thousand, creditors rupees twenty thousand, and outstanding rent rupees two thousand. This is the. final answer